Hello, welcome. This is going to be a quick video on how to play the third grade math game, Cover Up. What are some ideas in the math that we're going to be thinking about here? Well, we're going to be working with multiplication facts, and we're going to be using a visual math model called an array to prove and illustrate the product of multiplication as area. What are some things we need to play this game? Well, we need the Cover Up and Record sheet, player one, player two, and we need the spinner overlay. Okay, partner, you wanna go first? Sure do. All right, I got six and five. I'm gonna write this down here so I remember. This is the equation. So I've got six rows with five in each row. Ooh, I already know this is five. This is a five by five. So I'm just gonna add a sixth row to this. And I know that six times five, that there should be 30 squares covered up. I'm gonna double check by counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep, I'm right. Okay, partner, you're next. Okay. Five times seven. So I'm gonna write five times seven. Hmm. Well, let's see here. I could go five rows, seven tall, or I could go five rows, seven wide. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go out to the seven, one, two, three, I know that's five, six, seven. That's one row of seven, but I need five of them. So I know that that is one, two, three, four. So that's five tall, so I can just square this in, shade it all in, and there's my array, a five by seven array. So I'm gonna count by fives to make sure it's correct. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 total. Okay, so this game will continue taking turns. You get four rounds to draw four arrays. If your array does not fit on your graph, then you lose a turn. When you're completely done all four arrays the players add their products so in this case I got a 35 my partner got a 30 we would add each product for each round to get a total and the player whose total is closest to 100 wins thank you have a good time working on your multiplication using arrays